it's quick tip is a nice little one around the tool that works quite nicely when you're working with a little grid of frames like this. So here I've got a grid of what is the 16 frames on there. Um, and you can do obvious stuff in there like resize these and reposition them. What I actually want to do is just work on a few of these gaps in between the frames. Um, and the tool that I'm going to use is, it's funny enough, called the gap tool. Um, so it's ideally named and it's this one over here, just below the white arrow. So when I come over here and when I hover over the gaps, you'll notice on the frames it does nothing, but on the gaps, it kind of comes to life a little bit. You see these little gray markers down here. And what you can do is you can click and move these gaps around. So for example, I can move them side to side, or if it's a horizontal one, I can move it up and down like so. This also works in conjunction with the edge of the page as well. So I can make that bigger and make it come out to the edge of the page if I wanted to as well. And there are a few nice little shortcuts on here. So I'm trying to show you those. So the first shortcut I want to show you is if I hold down the shift key, you'll notice when I hold down the shift key, it's no longer gray. And what that means is I can now adjust the gap on just one particular set of frames rather than the entire column. So I can do something like that quite quickly and easily. So that's the shift key. Again, hold the shift key. I can bring those back into line again. So a nice, quick and easy way of doing that. That shift key works with the other ones as well in conjunction with if you want to as well. So the control key will allow me to make the gaps bigger or smaller. Now I mentioned a second ago, the shift key works in control with the other, in, in conjunction with the others. So if I hold down shift and control, I can make the one gap bigger or smaller. So control makes the whole lot bigger or smaller in terms of the gap. Shift will allow you to limit it to just the gap between those two. And then the last one is the alt key. And what the alt key will let me do is move the frames either side of the gap. And of course, if I hold the shift key with the alt key, you can probably guess what's gonna happen. It lets me move just one set of frames either side of the gap. So that's the gap tool. It's just sitting up the top here, right below your direct selection tool there. Um, and it's quite a nice one if you want to rearrange those frames quickly and the gaps between them.